before we get into this video, make sure you guys join my uh, Discord. The link will be in the, dis uh, in the description below. And uh, we're so close to 3K subscribers. Just please make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. We are so close. Let's get right into it. I'm in the beam and taking off, I push it off the soil. My neighbor cursing as I pull out spraying for oil. It's all business, baby. I'm not finished. And give me like four minutes. I'm fucking up all the witnesses. The black serpent cutting fakes about the grass again. How this side your room? I spray for Monday, hit your mattresses. I'm in the tree, shadow boxing on my demons, bitch. I ain't felt the same since Chris Cross started turning shit. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Z back with another video. Today we about to do the tier list um for the Genkai's. So we about to see the best ones, or in my opinion, the best ones and the worst ones. So let's get around to it. All right, so first I have an order for it first. All right, bet. So the first one is boil. Um, To be honest, the boil, the boil is actually not bad in my opinion. I'm a low key put boil at C. Just to the fact how due to, due to it just having hella AOE. So, just like every move, but like, like I said, I'm not going to say every Genkai is bad, or any of these Genkais are bad, just because of the hitboxes in the game, but most of them are actually really good, like, the, especially the underrated ones like Mud, Ice is actually not that bad either, especially for PvP, that's, it's like the best support class, so, yeah, alright, so the next one we got is Byakuyan. Byakugan. Uh, I'm probably gonna put this at as 100%. I'm not gonna lie, Byakugan is actually OP as hell from the rotations that legit just stun you. The rotations give you iframes, the trigrams. It's just the combos that you can do with it, bro. It's just insane, bro. It doesn't matter what ninjutsu setup that you have, bro. You can do crazy damage with Byakugan. Um, the next one is Crystal. Alright, so you guys are gonna get mad at me, but I'm putting Crystal at C. People are going to say Crystal is bad, but bro, trust me, Crystal is not even close to bad at all. If you actually, like, seen it, bro, Crystal is actually very, 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 very good. Like, especially, like, the damage output is just crazy. Alright, let's get to the next set. Um, Particle. Particle, I'm putting up there at B. Particle is just, I don't know. Particle, I feel like, is just... It's so good for like finishing combos, especially if you're a Taijutsu. If you're a Taijutsu, bro, then I, re I really do recommend to go Particle just to top it all off. Like, it's really good. Um, Explosion, F. <laughs> it's pretty self explanatory. Explosion, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Explosion, come on. Gold Dust, bro. Gold Dust, in my opinion, is not even all that, bro. It has a what? I'm pretty sure it has a 1.66% chance of to getting it, but I honestly think it's one of the most overrated Genkai's in the game. I genuinely think that it's one of the most overrated Genkai's in the game. Like, it just, I don't know. It's honestly overrated. So, I'm honestly going to put this at C. It's not all that, bro. It's not all that. The only reason why I'll be, I'll be putting it at C just because of... I don't even know, just because of the AoE, I guess. Just like every other move or every other Genkai. Alright, Ice, I'm putting, don't, listen. Ice for grinding, I'm putting it at F. But Ice for PvP, I'm putting it at B. Just because, like, the PvP, like, you can legit free somebody. You can start off, you can start off so much combos with it, bro. It's actually insane. So, if we're talking about grinding, I'm putting this at F. If we're talking about... PvP, then I'm putting this at B. But just to balance out, I'm gonna pull it at D. Just to balance it, just to balance it out. Alright, so the next one is Okay. Iron Sand. So Um Iron Sand, I'm probably gonna put Iron Sand at Um Let me think. Let me think. I'm probably gonna put Iron Sand at probably A. I mean the spikes are crazy. It's just, as a whole, it's actually really good. So, all right, my bad, y'all. Um, I just had a phone call, so let's get right back into it. Um, all right, so back to Iron Sand. The Iron Sand headbox is actually, like, it's stupid. Like, it, it, like it, I know if you if y'all ever played Arena X or if y'all ever fought somebody at, like, the Force of Death or something like that, you guys know it. The Iron Sand, like, that little, that little, 
I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> but bro, the hitbox is insane for Iron Sand. Just that's why I'm putting that putting it at A. All right, so the next move is Lava. All right, so Lava is a 2.5% chance. I honestly think it should be higher. It's just that Lava is just. Uh, I'm not sure. Lava is good for starting combos, but at the same time, after you get hit by the lava floor, um, then you can just easily just hold block it and sub out of it. So that's why I'm probably gonna put Iron. Sand, I mean, not say Iron Sand. Lava at probably C, just cause the the like the little lava um breath move whatever. That that move just goes crazy as a whole. Like that move is just crazy. Um. So, yeah, the next one is Mud. All right, so Mud is actually one of the best combo starting, like, combo starting, um, Genkai's in the game. The, like, the Mud, it's a 6.6% .6 chance of spawning. Or I said spawning, of, of, of you uh, rolling it. But, like, I'm telling you right now, if you get Mud, keep it. Like, bro, I'm telling you, the, all the combos that you can do with Mud is just crazy. I'm honestly gonna put for grinding. I'll honestly put mud at C, but for PVP, I'll for sure, I'll for sure, for sure, put it at B. So I'm just gonna keep it at C for now. But trust me, do not sleep on mud at all, bro. Do not sleep on it. All right, next is sand. Uh, I'll put sand up there at B, just cause um sand has a transportation move, it has a mode, and it has sand coffin. And on top of that, it has a sand tsunami, which does 18k if you max out your ninjutsu three times. Like it does 18k times three. So, like what, 50 something K? That's just crazy to me, like actually. All right, so the next one is, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh shoot, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know what I just did, bro. <laughs> I don't really don't know what I just did. But all right, F it, F it, F it. Oh, it's presentation mode, all right, all right. Uh, Ah, uh, let's just go to presentation mode. All right, baby. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? The next one is Scorch. All right, bro. First of all, I'm putting Scorch up there. Scorch is like the best one. Of, I, I, in my opinion, it's top five for me, bro. Guaranteed, hundred percent. It's Scorch is top five. Like, like the damage that Scorch does, twelve k per Scorch ball for the first move. If like, in your mode, I'm putting Scorch at eight. It has a nuke move and it has a proc move, like for the second one. So I'm putting Scorch up there. The Scorch it has it has afterburn and it has damage, like on spot damage. Like it's kind of ridiculous. Like it's stupid to me. Sharingan, we all know Sharingan is eight. It's S tier, especially with the Susano, with the with the Jinjutsu's, with the with the um the eye frames that you get with the last moves. Like what five second cooldowns? Kind of ridiculous. Storm, I'm putting Storm at A. Um, storm is actually pretty good for grinding and for PvP because that little big storm thing um, stuns. So yeah, the next one we got is wood. All right, so for wood, I uh, I would probably put wood at D tier. To be honest, if it's max, then the PvP will be a little bit better, just depending on what your other Genkai is. But I'm honestly gonna put. This is wood down here. The wood golem. I mean, I said wood golem. The wood, uh, the wood dragon is actually pretty good. The multi wood pillars are actually really good as well. But um, I I just don't know. I if you go if you block it once, then yeah. I mean, it does auto track. I might put it at C, but for now I'm gonna put it at D. Make sure put put your uh put your own tier list in the comment section below, cause I might you know what I'm saying miss a few things. So yeah, just let me know. All right. So the next one we got is. Um, Ketsu Ryugan. Um, I'm not, I'm probably gonna put this at B, honestly. Actually, I'll put it at A. I'll put it at A. I, I, I'll put it at A. Yeah, I'll put it at A. Why not? I mean, it's either B or A. To be honest, yeah, I'll keep it at A. Just cause, yeah, just, bro, yeah. The mode is actually ridiculous, so. Kaguya. Kaguya, I'll put it at B. Grinding, amazing. For it's PvP, it's amazing. Um, as a whole, I want to say it's, it's above the A tier list because it's just that it doesn't have any combo extenders or combo like starters. 
So Kaguya is just like a heavy hitting, a heavy, a heavy hitting class. So I'm probably gonna keep it at B. Don't get me wrong, Kaguya is really good. I really do recommend it if you spin it, but I wouldn't put it over these uh, six. All right, next we got um, Namakaze. Come on, bro, Namakaze is for sure S class. Bro, first of all, Namakaze, you get speed. And on top of that, you get the time stop, which is a combo opener. On top of that, you get the teleporting move. Like, bro, if you get an actual damage supporting class, or I mean damage supporting Genkai with Namakaze, you, that's automatically a good build. Automatically. 100%. Automatically. Namakaze is just really good as a whole. Ash. Ash is really good for combo stars. I, mean, I said combo stars. Really good for grinding. And actually, I would say it's good for PvP as well. So people be sleeping on Ash. I'm pretty sure Ash is a 2.2% chance to, uh, to spawn. Um, I'm probably gonna put Ash at B. Actually, I put Ash at C. Yeah, cause lava. Yeah, I put lava at C. So I gotta put Ash at C, just cause of the just just cause of the um just cause of the uh, the Ash breath. It legit stuns you for a long, long, long time, and it does hella damage, and the damage stacks on top of that. So that's just, Ash is a dangerous move. If you get hit by that, that's gonna do at least like what 30k of your HP, bro. So yeah. Next, what we got is Shiro Gain. Um, pretty yeah, Shiro Gain is the uh, puppet. I'm probably gonna put this at B because it really extends your hitbox like crazy. Like, I was fighting a Shiro Gain user, the, like, earlier today. I don't know if I'm tripping, but when he used the, uh, like, the little, word, like, the little, um, like, the slashes for that little weapon, bro, the, it was coming out of the actual puppet instead of him. So, his hitbox, my man was hitting me from a mile away, bro, especially including latency, bro. Like, it was insane, bro. So, I put Shiro Gain at B or C, but for now, I'm going to put it at B. Um, let's see. So next we got is Uzumaki. Uzumaki is probably the best Genkai starter opener besides uh, besides Byakugan and um, Sharingan. So I'm probably gonna put Uzumaki up there at A just because of its mode and its stuns. It's the same thing. It's like an ice mixed with Sharingan kind of because you can stun, but at the same time it still has that damage support. And like that, like the Uzumaki hitbox is actually pretty good. Alright, so next we got Nara. Nara, um, I'll probably put this at B or C again because, actually I'll put this at B. The stuns of it, like the stuns for it in general, like say if you're in a war or, or you're, you're, you're like ganking or something like that, I'll probably put Nara at B just because it's actually like overall Nara can, it can be both. It's just balanced out. You can start a combo with it or you can end a combo with it. That's why I'll put Nara at B. It's pretty good. Um, let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. All right, so Hoshigaki. Hoshigaki gotta be up there. It gotta be up at the A section. Um, I'm just saying right now, bro, you could travel with the first move. It does it does hella damage. The second move is legit a underwater bubble that stuns you. You cannot, you cannot block. You cannot sub. You cannot use your moves. You can't do anything. And you take damage from it. So... That move is actually crazy. And then the last one is obviously the little big shark that flies towards you. And um, it does hella damage. And the modes buffs is 2k minimum. It's, it's, just, it's really good. It's really good. I'll put it at A, especially for PvP. And and all, on top of that, you get, if you didn't know, um, you get um, chakra off of hitting people. And as well, it drains their chakra. So you're basically chakra stealing people. It's actually crazy. Like, it's actually, I, I really do recommend it if you get it. If you get it, keep it. Next one is Kami Zero. Put this at A again. Probably S-Class. Like, I'm dead serious. Kami Zero is probably one of the best. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they nerfed the B. But Kami Zero, S-Class or A-Class? A hundred percent S-Class or A-Class. But for now, I'm going to put it at A. But trust me, it's either S or A-Class. Just because the B tracking is just it does hella poison damage as a whole. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, so the next one we got Senju Wood. After the Senju Wood buff, I'm putting it at A. Bro, Senju Wood just got the biggest buff. They got the thousand they the the thousand punches, whatever. Bro, that like bro, I'm telling you. It did it does so much damage if you hit all the punches, bro. 
is actually ridiculous. Like, genuinely, it's actually ridiculous. So, I'm putting it at A. Um, Explosion, I already put this at F before. Um, and then the last one is Yuki Ice. I'm not even going to lie. In my opinion, Yuki Ice is not good. I mean, the first move is the mirrors and all. But it's, in my opinion, you can't land it. You can't land the mirror move unless it's an M1 combo. Like, I don't know. I feel like Yuki Ice is still good. But I have to put it at C. Just because. Just because. Just because. It has no excuse me, combo opener or combo fin. Actually, it has a combo finisher. But it has no combo, op combo opener. So, if you have... Another Genkai that can stun him, and then you can combo off of that. Then Yuki Ice now I'll put it at B, right? For his combo finishing, I'll put it at B. For his combo starting, I'll probably put it at C or D. Because in my opinion, Yuki Ice is not all that. I honestly think it should be buffed. Like the percentage, because it is a 2.5 chance of getting it. So I honestly think it should be buffed. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video. D d these are my best uh, Genkais and my worst Genkais. I explained uh, every single Genkai uh, separately. So, my tier list. Let me know in the comments. Uh, or, if, if you want, you can join my Discord and DM me um, what your tier list was. Uh, if you want to do your own tier list, uh, just DM me. I'll send you the actual tier maker list or, or, or link. So, it's me, your boy Zeke. Make sure you guys join my Discord. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.